Looks good. And it's even rose gold. Musky fishing. Oh no, it's musky fishing. I don't know if I like musky fishing. I always get asked what my favorite species of fish to fish for is and I typically say variety. I just love doing something different on every trip. That being said, with musky fishing, it often is trolling, which I don't enjoy that much, or throwing big baits and getting sore which is not my favorite thing to do. I already have like repetitive stress injuries in my hands. I have to wear a hand brace all the time from too much fishing, too much computer work. And the number one bait for casting for muskies for size and numbers is a giant double bladed bucktail that pulls so hard in the water and beats you up so much, but it is necessary. And the muskie is the top of the food chain. It is the biggest, baddest, most exhilarating fish to fish for. I cannot deny that. I just try and do it as little as I can. Um, but one thing that I am working on right now, happily, is this right here. So I do not mind going musky fishing once in a while. And this video is our only musky fishing trip of the whole year. So far anyways, unless we go trolling, I guess this fall or jigging. So for double blade bucktails, you see me use the Weebworm Dadson lots. Also, Darcy Cox really recommends Chaos Tackle, Esox, Assault, Musky uh, bucktails. And there is a wide variety of different ones. You could downsize to a size eight blade and it won't pull as hard. And I often try to use something like a Topwater or a Super Shad Wrap or something so it doesn't beat me up as much. And uh, you will see that right here. You will see some low energy Aaron Weeb because I'm not too excited to be doing this. Spot one and live scope time is 3.10 p.m. How is it so far on your shoulders and stuff? It's okay. Okay. So you could easily throw that bait the entire day and not need to think twice about it. So the main reason to switch would probably just be to give yourself a rest if you needed one at some point. The one I'm using is like a bass bait almost. It's so easy. I'm really giving myself a easy workout here. All right. Spot two. Oh, on. Yeah. Oh, on. Could be okay. Don't know yet. Oh my goodness. As soon as I sit down for a bite. Oh, it's a pike. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Too big? No. He's hooked in the back. Classic uncut angling maneuver. In the back. I thought it was a 50. Okay, it's, I think it's only spot three. I just wonder when it's gonna happen. Spot four. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I got something. Keep reeling, keep reeling. What's going on? What's going on? I got something. It's maybe just a pike, but who knows? It's a mm -hmm. pike. <laughs> Good practice, okay. Mm -hmm. Yikes. That's some damage. There he goes. Hi. Good job. My hand is like getting worked right now. It's like it got easier to reel in once that fish hit, eh? I was just wondering if this is what had happened. Got a gray fish. <laughs> cool. Okay, spot maybe five, five, five. What's that? Is it just a bucket that we should pick up? I'm feeling it's anchored tethered to the bottom. Huh, it is just floating. Ice cream. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Where is your muskie? Oh, maybe spot six. Someone decided to wear an ice cream pail. Got one? No. Fish. That's musky. 
Oh my goodness, should I just drop the rod? Yep, just drop the rod. Like this? Yep. Just with the- Oh, it's a pike, it's a pike, wow. What the heck? But Sorry. it's a decent pike, yeah, it's fine. babe. What are you talking about? It's fine. Man, I gotta look at it for some reason I really thought it was a musky. Well, at least got a picture with it. We'll figure it out. Whoa, are you kidding me? Okay, 45 inch pike. Got him! Mm, maybe this will be okay. Here we go. Look good? And that's how it's done. Thank you. How big? 38, 39? It's pretty nice. Mm -hmm. Cool. <laughs> so cool. Playing tennis over there? This is for you to say, little wimpy bait. I'm using the easiest bait besides like a topwater. <laughs> I don't want to be sore. Okay, I need to switch this. Yeah, seems pretty good. Feels even heavier. But if you do a gentle lob, the weight of the bait will take it out there. So that part shouldn't hurt. And then the reel in should be easy, but you can play that by ear. How's it feel? Way easier? Mm-hmm. That looks pretty freaking good. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's move. About seven, and you can kind of do anything with it. Just reel it straight, jerk it. You probably want to impart something into it though, once in a while. Okay, whatever spot, uh, maybe eight, maybe nine. We'll call it nine. We'll call it 10 for a nice round number. Spot 10. How did you even use this lure this long? That long? It's killing me. It's freaking killing me. In the back of the arm, I think, is where it hurts. Spot 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 1, 1. Michelle's guaranteeing a muskie in this boathouse. That's a guaranteed fish cast, hey? Uh oh. Spot 55 for 55 inch. Yeah. Oh, hey, little guy. Okay, spot number uh, 12 maybe. Spot 12. Okay. Oh, look like a fishy cast, Michelle. Way to go. When are we getting off? Maybe dark 30? Don't we need to get a video done? It's the best way to get a video done to get off the water right at prime time? Is that the best way to get you your first muskie? Quickly get off the water? No. Okay, then what are you talking about? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? It is spot number 13 or 14. Michelle has suggested that we get off the water as the best way to catch a muskie. No, I'm talking about tomorrow. So we can do a video? You're talking about something. Spot number 365. Uh, we'll see what we can find. What time is it on the live scope there, Michelle? Why don't you tell everybody? 8.40, Aaron. Really interesting. That's really interesting. Oh, I see weeds in there. See on the beach? Okay, just chuck that back there a little bit. Looks good, you can actually see falls a little better now. Got one? Nope. You? Almost. Look, at those, there, 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 that, 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 that's the best stuff. You saw it? Yep. Here he comes. Ready? What? How come this isn't coming out? Uh, just, it's fine? It's fine. Yeah, maybe. Here he comes. Here he comes. No rush. No rush. I'll bring him to you. Oh, it's big. I'll bring him to you. Relax. Relax. Here he comes. Babe, you got him, huge. you got him. Keep lifting, keep lifting the tip. Nice, nice job. Do you see how fat that thing is? 
Just caught a big old muskie. There it is, another victim to the dads and blade bait weeb worm. In commemoration of my tapeworm, Michelle loves talking about this. Ew. Ew! Trade you? This is a thick girl. And yes, I'll trade you. Get the bump board ready. This would be called a clear muskie, right? According to that. I don't know. Okay, here, babe. Okay, I got it. There it is. The original weeb worm. Still sort of says weeb worm on the back. Thank you, Johnny Dadson. This is about a, I don't know, 48 inch fish, 47 inch fish, maybe. Wow, he's very, very feisty still. We have a lighting good, eh? Mm -hmm. He's got a bad eye. Mm. This could be even bigger. Jeez. Probably bigger than you think. Does that seriously say weeb worm on it? Yeah. <laughs> That's a 49. What? That's a 49. <laughs> Good job, babe. Maybe it's 50. Yeah, maybe it's 50. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's 50. Look. 50 and wow. a half. Wow. 50 and a half. Most closed. How do you feel? It's mayhem. Yeah, I'm gonna get my drink. Ugh. 50 and a half inch musky. We haven't seen a musky all day. I mean, we only started at 3 or 4 p.m. We caught that 38 inch pike, a couple other small pike. Did we see a musky today? No. He's got a bad eye. So that's why I didn't want to show you this side originally. See his, see his bad eye? 50 and a half inch musky, there we go. And do something weird with your face. Okay. Good? Okay. Look at the size of that yap. Are you serious? Look at the size of that yap. 50 and a half inch musky, first musky of the year. And we fished closer to town because Michelle didn't want to go for a long boat ride and I told her that's fine. It's a better chance at a big fish, but not a better chance of catching one. And what did we do? Finally see one, finally catch one, and it's 50 and a half. Okay, there she goes. Okay, she's happy. We'll Off keep an eye on her. into the sunset. We'll keep an eye on her, but there's no boat traffic here because we're tucked behind this island weed bed. Yeah, just, just stay on her. There she goes. Down she goes. Thank you. Good job. Yes. A couple key things. I mean, obviously it's prime time. You got to fish till prime time. And we were planning to kind of work our way down the lake and find some fish to go back on at prime time. And we didn't see any fish. So you just keep your confidence up. We've only fished a couple baits today. We had a bucktail going. Super shad wrap that I caught that 38 inch pike on. And some shadzillas. And that's basically, is, have you thrown anything else today? Just a couple baits and just run in spots. Very good, very good. We still have time, Michelle. You can still catch a muskie tonight. There is time. It's your turn. Good job, I'm so happy. Would you like to use the bucktail again? <laughs>